There's another fit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the US of Angling where I travel the US in a travel trailer with my wife JC and I fish everywhere I go. We're going to be doing a little roadside catching cook today. There's a massive waterway that runs along this highway and there's a bunch of these little inlets that butt right up to the highway. So we're just going to be inlet hopping along this waterway. Hopefully we can find some tasty fish to cook up just right here alongside of the road. This is brack water, so we can be catching saltwater and freshwater fish. I have no clue what we're gonna wind up eating, but hopefully it's something. Let's go catch something. All right, guys, we're throwing a Bobby Garland, the absolute number one best jig, best lure, in my opinion, of all time. Bobby Garland blue thunder color with a 32nd ounce jig head. We'll catch just about freaking everything. Do you guys have a favorite lure that you use all the time, no matter what? Write down in the comments, if you had to go out and catch a fish right now, what lure are you throwing? Mine is definitely a Bobby Garland, hands down. Ooh, just had my first bite. First bite on old Bobby Garland. Did not feel large, but it was a bite. Come on. I will crap my pants if we can find a couple crappies in here. Definitely not holding my breath, but I'm fairly certain they're in here. And if they are in this water, this is where they'd be. They wouldn't really be out in that main channel with the river flowing, I don't think. Oh yeah, I see some bait fish. Look just like my Bobby Garland. We're using the right lure. There's our first fish. Oh, it had me excited. I thought this was a crappie for a second. Oh, darn it. Look at this color on this thing. This is like some sort of sunfish, but I saw this. That looks almost crappie colored. You had me excited, little dude. That's probably what's been nipping at us. No way, it's a crappie. <laughs> All right. I was, whoa, I was hoping and praying we were gonna find us a crappie and we just did. Just sucks, it's too small to keep, but freaking crappie. All right. I was hoping that there was gonna be crappies in here. It looks like such a good crappie spot. Why couldn't you be bigger, bud? All right. We caught us a crappie. He was a dinker, but I am freaking stoked. That may have just become the target species. There could be crappies tucked up on this. There could be crappies right here. They're definitely in these trees. There we go. That's our first keeper fish. It's not very big, but we're trying to do a catch and cook and I can, goodness, I can clean that bluegill. We're gonna clean him. I gotta go grab my stringer though. This is a pretty darn little one, but it just barely sneaks into the eater category. Ideally, we get a crappie or two. That's really what I want. One fish on the stringer. Hopefully that's the smallest one that goes on there, but I'm not passing up the first borderline eater. I just want at least one keeper crappie. That is really, really, really what I want. Ooh, this one's bigger. What is this? What is this? 
Oh, there we go. There we go. That's another keeper gill. It's sad that I'm saying that these are bigger, but they feel nice compared to the little tiny, tiny little dinky hits that I've been getting. All right, number two. We are going to have some lunch after all. I say after all, we haven't been here for very long. We haven't been here for long at all. All right, Bobby. I knew Bobby Garland would get us some lunch. I freaking knew it. Now can Bobby Garland get us one eater crappie? There's another fit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no way. One eater crappie is what I just asked for and freaking bang. Yes. All right, <laughs> that's a solid 10 incher. Yes, all right. There are crappies in here and there are eater crappies in here. Oh my gosh, you don't know how stoked this freaking fish makes me. Get on the stringer, bud. All right. I am freaking thrilled right now. There we go. That's a nice crappie. It makes those bluegills look freaking sad. Oh my goodness. There are crappies in here. That's a nice one. That is a nice crappie. Heck yes. That might be two casts in a row. I think that was two casts in a row. We're not trying to get greedy, but let's hope this keeps up for a little while. I, ju <laughs> I just said, let's see if Bobby Garland can get us a keeper crappie and freaking bang. Let's hope having those fish sitting right here doesn't make us alligator bait. Maybe I should stand back away from them a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so sick. I am freaking thrilled. That is all I was really wanting was one nice crappie. That might be the most excited I've been about a 10 inch crappie in a while. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's see another crappie, huh? That's what we want to see. That was just on the drop. This could be a crappie. This could be a crappie. Is this a... Oh my gosh, it's a nice crappie. All right. That was just on the initial drop. The second I started reeling him in, he was already on there. All right. He's a little bit bigger than the first one. I got a measuring tape. I'll measure him before I clean him, but... I don't know, that, one, that one's probably 11 inches, I'd say. That was way out there and it was on the drop. The second I started reeling, he was there. <laughs> All right. I am so freaking thrilled that I found some crappies down here in Louisiana, man. Yes. These are nice ones. We are getting a little stringer going. Nothing crazy yet, but this is exactly what I was hoping for today. There's another fish. Another crappie. <laughs> this one's not very big, but big enough to keep. All right, we've already thrown back a couple dinkers. This one's nowhere near as big as the other ones, but he's a keeper. I've got enough for a catching cook, but I'm hoping to get enough for me and JC to eat some for dinner too. So I'll probably eat, I don't know, four, maybe five. 
and then hopefully we can keep catching them for me and JC tonight. All right. This stringer's looking better and better. Couple nice crappies on there. That, this second one, that's a good one. That first one's not bad, but that second one's a nice one. All right, guys, well, my audio ended up getting disconnected here when I'm showing off my final stringer, so I gotta do a quick voiceover, but we ended up catching a couple more bluegills after that final crappie, and then the bite completely shut off. So after I show off the stringer here, we head up to the truck for a little roadside catch and cook. Alright guys, we got our fish all seasoned up. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what I'm using before I get everything going. Just because I've got this old piece of crap that I've got to use because I'm out of green propane tanks for my new burner. This one is super shaky. Stuff does not balance on it worth a crap. So, fish batter using Louisiana Cajun. It is the absolute number one best fish batter in the world. And I'm in Louisiana, so it just feels right. Butter flavored Crisco for the grease. It is by far my favorite. I've used a bunch of different kinds. Butter flavored Crisco is definitely the way to go. Also, the star of the show, the Bubba cordless fillet knife is amazing. It's the reason that I started doing catching cooks because it makes it so easy to fillet fish while you're out on the water, on the shore, whatever you're doing. I had one of those Mr. Twister fillet knives. It's an electric fillet knife, but it's not cordless. It was incredible. I used that thing for like 15 years, but the Bubba fillet knife being cordless, top notch. I'll link them both down below. Bubba fillet knife is obviously a little bit pricey, but if you're trying to do catch and cooks or fillet fish not in your kitchen, that's definitely the way to go. But the Mr. Twister works fantastic. You just got to plug it in. Okay, time to get this grease going. I am going to say a little prayer that I don't burn the crap out of myself because I'm not even on even surface right now. What am I going to do here? Maybe if I stuff some of this under here. Yeah, that'll help. That helped, I think. Fingers crossed, we don't burn anything. All right, how are we doing on the temp? Yeah, we're doing good on the temp. We're doing real good on the temp. Gonna get right, ooh, see? Just a little bit of wind and this thing about took a freaking dive. That's why I hate this thing. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'll link all this stuff below that you can get on Amazon. If you can't get it on Amazon, it won't be down there, but the burner, my new burner, it is freaking awesome. This one sucks. All right, let's see. Is this hot enough? The answer would be yes it is. The one recommendation I can give you, my number one recommendation out of this whole video, do not buy one of these burners that I'm using. They're awful. They can't balance a pan and if it's windy, they suck. The only thing that I can see this burner being good for, one, you know, the little backpack burners that fold into about a size this big, would be to like heat up a cup of coffee. If you're not heating up coffee, don't buy the burner. guys fish is done i am so freaking stoked it's just been a little too long since i've had fried fish so freaking good i will tell you though on a serious note don't buy one of these burners they suck if it's windy the oil gets hot, cold, hot, not cold, but you know, it fluctuates. So you run the risk of not getting crispy fish. This fish is still good. 
but it's not as crispy as I like it. And I have the burner to blame for that. The good news is I didn't eat all the fish, so I get to go home and cook them on a real burner and get some crispy, crunchy crappies. I also didn't cook any of the crappies. I saved them for JC and I tonight. So we're just eating bluegills now, but definitely a successful day. I actually leave Louisiana in just a couple days, so I am stoked that I caught a couple crappies down here. A couple nice crappies. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos just like this, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate you guys watching. Get out there and catch something.